Well, hello, hello, my sweet dolls. This is Candy Doll, and I am back here with another unboxing and a hopefully re a successful rebodying of a doll that I got on Amazon a, quite, a, quite a while ago, but I just didn't get around to doing the video until now. I've been quite busy. So before I get into that, I just want to thank you all for being here and being a part of my sweet dolly little world. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much for being here and rocking with me. I hope you're having, you're all having a great, you know, uh, day or week or whatever it is that's going on in your life. I know things are extremely difficult right now and there's so many um, stuff going on in the world, tragedies and all kind of things and, you know, stuff. So, you know, hopefully you can maybe take your mind off of some things for a couple of minutes of your time here on YouTube on my Candy Dolls channel and uh yeah just hopefully I could bring a little smile or just a little something to take your mind off of things for a little bit um by here watching my videos and I have plenty more more videos here on YouTube don't forget to check out all my videos Candy Dolls and if you would like to watch me um my other channel my mothership channel <laughs> the candy girl go on over there and visit me there subscribe over there it's just a channel of a multitude of different things unboxing everything from clothing hauls dollar tree um, maybe some recipes food hauls all kind of stuff just a nice small little fun channel uh, for 18 and over as this is an adult dog collector's channel here over here and you could also check me out on instagram and subscribe over there where you will see me do more like dolly videos and stuff okay so I did pick up this doll that I've been wanting for a while. I finally got it at a decent price. It is the Barbie You Can Be Anything Dr. Barbie doll. And she's so pretty with her very interesting brown skin. I love her hair color with her skin. So I finally got her on Amazon. And yeah, so, so happy to finally get her. Of course, you notice that the pictures never really match the dolls anyway i mean she is pretty but the pictures that the little cartoon pictures that they put on the packaging they always look quite younger than the doll actually is but that's okay we get the general idea <laughs> so yeah here she is she is a doctor a black girl with her pretty i'm, lo I'm just loving her hair color it is so pretty that doll face looks awfully familiar to, familiar to me if you guys know what face that may be i'm not really that um, good with like the, the like the mold of the faces and stuff like that But I could have sworn I've seen this face before maybe in a different skin tone So yeah, but I love this doll. I didn't really get it for the doll. Honestly I really got it for the dress, but I'm loving her how she looks So yeah, and her hair color is like phenomenal But I'm going to be rebodying her on this Barbie body here. Let me show you I have her in um one of those carrying cases and this is the um from the barbie extra dolls from a couple of years ago the uh the black girl with the was she like a floral red floral dress on so this is the body i've used her so many times with different dolls so now i just don't have her head on there because i've rebodied so many dolls over and over again y'all know how it is i'm quite sure y'all know like when you get these dolls for rebodying you know sometimes you don't find that perfect um, skin tone made to move body to match and you keep on trying different ones and you might be re rebodying them so many times yeah <laughs> so this body's been through it so she is a pretty good skin tone I believe for her I can't really tell in the package but I think maybe it might work because she has sort of like a different kind of an undertone and I'll get into that after I take her out of the package but here is the packaging here is the back showing you the other dolls. And we have these dolls here, the hairdresser, the gymnast, the, um, I'm not sure she is, ballerina, another gymnast, the pop star one. I had her for a couple of years now and I don't know where she is, but she's the first one I got in this series. I, but she's really pretty. Uh, the nurse one, this, uh, the paramedic, the petite paramedic. I have her. I have two of her. I love her. And the chef there okay so let me get her out of the packaging so she was pretty easy to get out of the packaging 
she was just held on by like a rubber band around her arms but that's it so no none of those tie thingies and look at how pretty she is she's really amazing really amazing sorry i don't have the best lighting let me try to whoopsie get a little bit better lighting in here i don't know if that's any better but <laughs> okay so here she is she didn't come with any accessories like any separate accessories um she just has what she has on so here she is let's get it up close of her face interesting skin tone she is she has kind of like, um, let me see. Now I'm matching her up to this body. Oh, no. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll see. <laughs> I would say her undertones, because she's a dark chocolate color. I would say her undertone is kind of like a, uh, I don't know. It's not yellow undertones. Maybe a reddish undertone. Yeah. But anyway, um, her hair is really pretty. Amazingly soft. There's no product in it at all. Look at this color. So we have like um, kind of like a medium chocolate brown and maybe like a little dark brown mixed in it. No product whatsoever. This is just a little brush I had on the side here. But her hair is amazing. It's nice and long. Just right. Her eyebrows are nice and dark. She's got like that kind of like a honey color eyes, which I do love that eye color. And let's see. So her arms are straight and now so here's the thing about the straight arms thing i tend to think of it as um when you have when i have a um the doll that's not made to move with the stiff body and i don't have a match for it i'm kind of not bothered by that when they're stiff with their arms straight like that that kind of is an okay pose for me like if i'm posing the dolls um like if I'm posing the doll, standing it up somewhere, I hate that one arm bent business and one arm straight. That I pose, I absolutely hate. I can see maybe it might work for depending on how you're posing them and stuff like that. I just hate it. I just love, I would prefer the doll to be standing straight like that. You know, if they're not going to have a made to be body. Hey, because that's the bodies we were sure <laughs> we were kind of familiar with, with them straight, straight like that. Or sometimes the two bent arms, like the old school dolls from back in the day, two bent arms like that. So yeah, but I, I'm actually kind of okay with this. So let's check out her outfit. She has her white lab coat on, which is, was it soda? And it's kind of, we'll see how to get that off like that. It has pink trimming, pink, um, like, um, threading. It's just pretty, um, well, cute, more or less stethoscope with a little heart on the end. And it seems to lay flat because I've had like one of the other dolls where, the stethoscope did not lay flat. It's got, I love this dress. Okay, that's really what I'm living for for the dress. But I do like the entire doll. And these super cute pink flats. So, yeah. Of course, no bendable parts, anything like that. She can spread her legs apart a little bit, which kind of makes it a tad bit easier to stand. Like that. And then, obviously, her arms go up. So, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of not bothered if I didn't find a match for her. With the dolls that don't have a bendable joints, because I kind of don't, I kind of don't mind their legs and arms being straight like that, depending on how you pose them. Okay, so we have this here, this um, clear rubber band, which I'm gonna take off. They have it on there to keep the stethoscope flat down, and she is on a curvy body, just so you guys know, which is why I have the curvy body to rebody her on. So here's the stethoscope. How do I get it off now? What's going on here? Oh, okay. So here it is. So that's cool. So I think that might be my third stethoscope I have now. Because the paramedic came with one and one of my nurse dolls uh, outfits came with, that, came with it. Okay, let's check out this. Okay, so I don't think the, the um this lab coat is sewed on. So we could just slide that right off. The way I'm sitting right now, it's like really strange. I'm sitting on this really low stool. <laughs> uh by my bed it's a really low stool and the way i'm sitting is kind of strange so my back is killing me right now <laughs> but anyway um here's the lab coat and it's well made too you know so that's really nice with the pink ribbon a pink uh threading there and here she is with the dress really pretty pink floral summer dress 
with kind of like a high neck collar. I guess I got to be kind of modest because she's a doctor. Pretty dress with like red um, flowers and some blues in there. Really pretty. Goes with the shoes really well. Velcro's in the back. She's got some booty going on there. <laughs> so yeah, there she is. So let's see. Let's try to... I'm going to take the dress off and then try to see if how the clothing... I mean, this body will match with that body I have. Okay, sorry. I meant to say... I said this was the Barbie extra body. This is the BMR 1959 uh, doll. The black girl with the uh, the curvy black girl with the um the red floral dress on y'all know which one i'm talking about so that's which body body this is and actually i think this would be a really good match honestly i really think it is so you know what i'm gonna take the head off <laughs> you know lately i haven't been using the hot water method to take the heads off the dolls because it's kind of like frustrating oh not frustrating it just takes too long and when i'm doing a video i just want to hurry up and do it and i just pulled it right off <laughs> so it should carefully you know you could do it carefully you know just be careful but i'm quite sure many people have done the same too and i'm just putting the head on right now okay she's on her new body what do you guys think it's not perfect, but I think it's good enough for her. And once the, she, I'm going to put her dress back on. Once her dress is on, I think it'll look pretty good. See, the difference is you see, like, as I said, the skin tone is kind of a weird skin tone. It's kind of like a, kind of like an ashy kind of look to her face. Because you see how the face is like kind of like a dry, not shiny look. And then the body is shiny. So that's why it looks a little on the ashy side. <laughs> but, um... It is a good match, though. It's just the fact that the body is shiny and the face is not is like the, you know, kind of like the weird thing. But um, other, all in all, for me, if you wanted to rebody her on a curvy body, I think this would be a good choice. And just maybe, let me look. I have uh, the other petite um, Barbie, the one that just recently came out. I can't think of her name. The petite uh, black girl. I think that she might be a good match for her, too. So, yeah, but I think it's a good match. Now, let me put the dress on. Okie okay, smokey. She's in her new body and looking better than ever. And the shoes did manage to fit her too, which is great. So, yeah. Awesome. This dress looks awesome on her new movable body. So, yeah, it doesn't really look that bad, you know, with the, even though the skin tone in the face is a little different. Um, yeah, I think it looks amazing. It looks super cool. So, yes. There we go. I'm trying to make her stand, but even though I have this flat little surface here, I'm using actually a plastic plate <laughs> that I got from Target. I think I got that from. Yeah, as my, since, you know, dolls can't really stand on the bed. I have a stand here somewhere. Anyway, here is the, here she is. So she's looking awesome. As I said, this is the, the Dr. Barbie, like I said. That we can do anything, Dr. Barbie. She looks amazing. I gotta go find space for her because, hey, you know, I've got dolls all over the place and some that I haven't even set up yet. I have more unboxings to come, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Plenty more things. I have dolls that I haven't even opened that I've had for a couple of years and it's crazy, including my very first Integrity doll, which is kind of on the old side. I would say about two years old, I think whoopsie <laughs> she fell like she's like girl who are you playing you know she had her longer than two years <laughs> so anyway yeah i have to open her and do a nice unboxing for you guys that guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe thumbs up this video and all my other videos take care stay sweet and keep dolling bye for now bye <laughs>